Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Sunday, the 14th of May. It's about 4.30, probably about quarter to five, close to five by now. I've been out here messing around. Had family over, Mother's Day stuff. And uh, so it took me forever to get the video live. And I wasn't expecting, you know, usually we kind of alone unless we go to someone else's house. But um, anyway, we had family up. That was very nice. Visited him for a few hours and talked a bunch of old BS and, you know, as you do. But anyway, my, my one goal was to wash and change the oil in the old MDX. I got the oil draining at the moment. And, um, yeah, I'm working on that. Got the oil filter sitting there weeping under there, under there as well. Got my mobile one as always. It's uh, probably down to about 90 now. It was 93 on the port. Of course, the one of the sensors ends up in the sun. It was saying like 98, but that wasn't real. But it's a smoker. A lot of Harleys going up and down the road. You know, one of the things that Kelly noticed, she goes, you ever notice when it gets really hot, there is no sport bikes going up and down the road. It's all Harleys. I said, well, there's people that ride and there's people that play. Well, I won't get into that. It might ruffle some feathers of some of you sensitive people. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, it's all Harleys when it's hot. But um, anyway, so we ended up not going anywhere. Um, Kelly and I were going to go for a ride and she's standing out there talking. She, I mean, standing outside. That was this earlier, this was like 11 something. And, um, yeah, everybody's getting hot. So we ended up going into the shop where the air conditioner was. And she's going, I, you know, I was thinking about going for a ride. Do you mind if we kind of skip today? Just not used to this heat. She goes, I was really starting to get queasy out there in that heat, just standing there talking to everybody. I said, yeah, it was pretty, that was pretty intense. But, uh, anyway, so skipping the Mother's Day ride for the day. But you got a lot of Mother's Day love anyway. So that's cool. Uh, scrub jays flying by. Reminds me of the old blue jays in the south. They don't have those up here. We got Stellar's jays and scrub jays. The Stellar's jay though has the you know the crest on its head like a regular blue jay does in the south. And none of them get as big. Some of them blue jays in the south can pick up your dog. I'm just joking, but they get big. But uh, anyway, let me finish this this fiasco up and get that done. I take it for a drive. Oh, what a horrible thing that was to drive in nice, comfortable air conditioning of, a, of an MDX. <laughs> that air conditioner works so good. So this ain't four wheels. We are going for a test ride, an after-service test ride. <laughs> Mom says, don't film me. I know it. My hair is everywhere. I have no makeup on. Just wearing my little skibby skibbies. Yes. She's out there helping me clean stuff up out there. And she goes, I don't have wallet nothing. I said, neither do I. Let's just jump in and go. Yeah. <laughs> we get caught, we'll come up with something. Even if it's a good lie. Hmm. Sure, it's funny how much cooler it is in the cage than it is the, oh, the mope pickle. I wanted to go for a ride so bad that man Yeah, that was, I mean, just standing there talking to Ryan and Colin, you know, that's, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty intense. Yeah, we had to keep going in the garage. <laughs> yeah. I think I was slipping in the air con right there looking at his truck that turbo. Truck is so cool. uh, he's sense. all perked up about something out there. No, oh, yeah, that'll get him alert. Look out, Robin! Ooh, he is. That is the luckiest bird ever. Oh, man. He literally came out the back and flew away. I always love this little farm scene here, but the sun's probably going to blow it out. A little house and that massive barn back there. Ooh. I'd build me a big old shop inside there off to one corner. Yeah. Insulate it all off so I can still work on it, but still it'd be a regular old barn to the, to the naked eye. Hey, we're gathering stuff out there. So, uh, I know the Himalayan, or the... <laughs> Royal Enfield GT can go up this hill, no problem. I think an MDX can. Oh, 
She's struggling, Mama. More and more fuel. I got it to the floor now. <laughs> Especially this time of year, you're just like, wow. All that rain and misery. She sure comes out beautiful for yeah, the next half of the year. Mm. Stunning. Look how much snow is missing off of Mount St. Helens from when I was through here last week. I think it was just bright white, had so much snow on it. I know. It looks like that'd be like five miles from here or so. Yeah. Where we're at, it's probably less than 20 as the crow flies. I don't know. I, I plotted that out once. I forget what it was. All right. So now we've made it to, uh, I don't know, it's about quarter after seven out here. I thought I'd burn a little time and a little evening light with the, uh, the other Ford Bronco, the Traxxas version of it. <laughs> this is my, this is my baby here. The one I, I'm fond of the most, and I drive it the least, because I'm always afraid I'm gonna do something to it. <laughs> That's the trick, getting that, getting that first tire to come up there. Oh. No diffs. Still gonna grab it. Come on now. You got the high racks on there. You're supposed to be the, the sticky sticky go anywhere tires. There we are. Now you're talking. Look at the snake. Snake's out here slithering around. Oh, near car, you're sliding all over the place. You got some of the nicest tires there are out there, but probably not slick metal type of traction these things are made for, huh? We get snagged on over there. And this one doesn't have any, there's no high rises or anything to it. She just, she just low to the ground. She's nice and quiet, and very subtle, very, very soothing. And that's first gear on it too. So it's gonna be quiet or uh, slower. But the, the other ones, almost everything makes, makes a lot of noise in, in uh, the low gear. This one does really well. If I can point the camera and get the car going at the same time here. So as soon as I get somewhere that I'm worried something can happen to it, I get all nervous. Yeah, buddy. That's a sweetheart right there. These things are getting to a point there's enough of them out there that, uh, there's a lot of them starting to look pretty rough, but people do some some serious crawling and stuff with them too. Way more than my simple goofing around. You spend good money on these things, you, I don't know. I'm just one of those guys that's gonna take care of stuff. I know they'll get beat up over time, things will happen, but nothing's gonna happen purposely. I'm not purposely gonna go out and bang it up. You spend money on these things, and I want them, want them to be nice. She's so quiet. Oh, I forgot, she's definitely a, a bumper dragger. Let's just watch her. Let's watch her go up from the front there. That front bumper well, gathered some junk in the in the undercarriage there. Yeah, should be fine. This has got the Fusion Pro. I like the 150. The only SEs I have is in the 
Gen 7 Red Cat and the uh, um, early Ford Bronco from Actual. Look how close that bumper gets down there. Yeah, buddy. He's almost dragging the tow hook up there. <laughs> So quiet. Oh yeah, she's a hitter that going that way. Well, I reckon that'll be it for the, the evening cool down. <laughs> this tracks is sure as something else. Mm. And next level. Just so smooth, so precise. And, yep, she's a beauty. Sure one of my, I, I would say clearly my favorite one. That was my second rock crawler out of the bunch too, after a TRX4, and um, or the, the Sport TRX4 Sport, and um, yep, I just become really fond of her. All right, that'll be it for the day.
Well, hello there, YouTube. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while. We had more family show up today. Yes, it was very it's been nice. A, been a, a family day. It was. Yeah, lots of, lots of folks, grandkids, and everything else running amok. Yes, they have fun running amok. <laughs> yeah, they're all freaked out uh, about the horse being gone. I guess their her, their mom kind of kept it a secret. She goes, "What's well, living at somebody else's house now?" Yeah, we'll just <laughs> let it be that. Yeah, kids get too emotional. Especially Lucas. Yeah. Yeah, he's like me a lot. Yeah, he loved the horses, and he had to see Leo right away, so oh, yeah. let him out and roaming around. He was inside enjoying the air conditioning, but yeah, that's cool. It Very was. relaxing family day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a high speed Buzz B bite. or something. That thing was yeah. flat moving. It was just a yeah. He was on a mission. <laughs> but anyway, well, I think that's going to conclude our weekend. Yeah, back out there tomorrow. Yeah, it's not going to be quite as hot tomorrow, thankfully. Yeah, we try to get a after work ride in that or something would like be that. Nice. Yeah, don't take nothing to to get them out. Yeah. Things banging off the walls over there. It's probably that bee come back and yeah. hit the barn. <laughs> well, end of that route. Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Yes, we really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Thank you. All right. Back to it again tomorrow. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.